pictures that we weren't able to display on that video earlier on in the pre-show. Really well played by Corey. You may be asking questions as to why there were two pellets put on each corner of the kitchen hatch one after the other. Why not just slap four on there, you might say? He was worried about the Kaid Electra, about the Kaid Tricks, or about potentially impacts coming sailing up. So it's more of guaranteeing that it's going to get opened up. And to tell you what, explosives Hello? galore in this round. We had the C4 to kick it off, followed up by a grenade. Two thrown, two connected. Great play by Aces, because for crying, he went down with both of those in the back pocket, unfortunately. But Aces, high value, Electro Claw, and the kill. And it's going to now turn into Leon finding another that's blast going down a four versus three oh. they got control of blue and aces finds yet another it's a four versus two and the man doesn't miss it's two heads to start a proceedings and a triple kill can't make it a fourth as Durza is pulling off one of those rounds jess he's got the two he may as well make it a three or even a four because that's what he's got to do to close the round out there are 13 seconds to go pings are going to help the man out here sees the man step up finds the head no. the three can he find the fourth it's the one v one against Corey, but Corey's a little bit too good in round number one unfortunately road take it by the skin of their teeth you've got to make sure the downstairs is safe i wanted to have a chat though jess about the laser gates and more specifically how it's going to burn quite a bit of utility trying to get this guy off a catwalk here aces has gone hyper aggressive and just pushed and underneath and said hey i'll happily take the challenge but they know nowhere out oh, oh nice oh. shot to cry and does lose out on the next one did flip the right direction but nothing to be found when durza with a lovely angle from upstairs inside a cash looks straight down through the double wall through lounge onto the player and garage and it's now more of a graveyard than it is being held by either team as the attackers have lost two and Noera is dead in there. Oh. Unlucky timing, Leon. Nice try, buddy. But four versus two for Train Hard, Jess. It just seems like a bit of a disjointed push here from Rogue. They've got 60 full seconds left to play with. Look how many drones are still in the pocket of Aces. He doesn't seem to understand that Intel is an opportunity for them here. He just wants to go boom, boom, pow. He's got the grenades out. Mm. He has the ARX. His head will get taken clean off of his shoulders by Dirtzer. And oh, we've seen him use many of these angles to great effect. And... When you're in a 4v1 situation like this, you're just attempting to try and collect a little bit of time to calm down your team. You're also trying to pad the stats. And I think overall here, Des, this should be a wake-up call to Rogue that you cannot push train hard without coordination. Yeah, it's a little bit dicey. I mean, normally you have pressure coming through on garage door if you're trying to get rid of the player on catwalk, but clearly they thought getting underneath would be enough. Durza completes his second 3k of the game so far. So for the guy we were talking about coming out with these miraculous 3k's to save rounds every now and again, he's had two in a row so far. Great start for him and for Train. Push back in towards the building here so there's more room for Road to get in and start thinking about their execute. So many grenades raining left, right and centre. None really have the effect they were looking for, but the guns do and that's Corey. He'll take out Noera, who we just talked about before in Garage Crime, will then take out Dirtzer and a 1 HP Corey, that's better than a dead Corey. In a 5v3 situation, 35 seconds left. They're doing everything they need, but Blaz is right up on the breach here. And I tell you what, Des, I'm a little bit worried for Train Hard because there's so many members getting swarmed around. A couple of like 1v1s, 2v2s starting to square up around the site. And he looks old for Spark. He was in a 1 versus 2. Might still walk away the victory. If he gets the shotgun kill, oh. he does. That's a good neat couple of kills with an assist from Blaz out back, who actually collected the kill. But now Spark has got to do it all as his teammates lost that fight over on the breach. One swing. Second one was coming in, but Rips closes it out. Again, another close round. Very akin to round number one. But Rogue still walk away with the round win. Club are nowhere really near the site right now, and I'd be very surprised if he gets back there safely. What? Oh no, he, he thought someone hopeful. might have been pushing him. Yeah, yeah. he was hoping he wa someone no, was he pushing was right. him from the strip door. Ten seconds prior, there was someone on strip door, so I get what he okay. was thinking. Well, I don't think he has a rotate into the billiards bar. Dirtzer will be able to get on out, but Blaz will get caught on out on his rotate. Aces will take him down. And whilst Dirtzer look like he wants to capitalize on getting that number advantage or try and even out the numbers disadvantage that they have now, he is better off going back to site, playing the last 50 seconds of this round. Because let's be honest, I mean, with Leon Gids going down, that's not a huge it's not a huge downer. I mean, those ash charges, were they really going to be used for anything else? Hatches already opened on up. It will depend now whether they can get this dirt control. Chaoxis, be careful, buddy. You don't have any ADSs beside you. And as a result, he's going to expel a couple of these smoke babes. And it is his job here to hold off as long as possible because with 30 seconds left, they are surely going to do a kitchen hatch drop. And he is going to be the biggest line of defense. I mean, who, if anyone could do it, it's going to be Kaox. He has been the hero for this team so many times, especially on Clubhouse. But in comes Durza, one into Aces, traded back straight after. And elsewhere, Spark's going to bring down Corey. Out comes the shotgun inside of Dirt to bring down one for Kaox. And Rips is all alone. Oh. What did we say?
the man himself. Yep. Give him any kind of gun it feels, and he can frag on this map. Two kills coming out inside of dirt. Beautiful play from Chaoxis, and they quite lead to questions. How do we adapt? How do we deal with this? Because it feels like Train Hard have got a kind of extended setup on the go, but they've also set up downstairs and a holding site. How many players can they have in different places and still have so much map control, Jess? The trouble is when you spread yourself really thin like that, that's when weaknesses can open up. But what they're doing to plug those holes of those weaknesses is using that pure aggression, that mechanical skill that we know Train Hard has that you have preluded before and prefaced before on the likes of Plaz, Chaoxis, and Noera. Ka Finally, one of the nades will hit and Rogue's been tossing out many, many without big effects so far. They won't know Chaoxis is down at the moment because they won't be counting points as they're in the middle of this round. So he could be picked up my biggest point here is look where the site is and look where half of the defender players are that is spread out 20 fold and it's only no error really over towards garage to hold on to that one and here we go rogue will kick off as they catch several players out in wrong areas but blaz he's been shifted Ooh. over to the jaeger now and he'll hit a beautiful double kill it's not going to be who was on the on the jaeger before they're throwing operators now between each of these players there you go Oh, Blaz, great oh. 3K to close. I mean, the second one was a pretty far into the construction window, but that final one, wonderful 1v1 coming out. Seize the man, let that gun kick and let it hit some heads. Well, this is a pretty default meta setup here, having that line of sight so that Blaz can assist the player in cash. Speaking of the player in, in cash, I can't even put my words together here. He's barely <laughs> alive. Grenades will rain over, and this has been something that Rogue's been putting a lot of emphasis on. Get those grenades. They have four almost every single round, and whether they're getting rid of shields, whether they're getting rid of bodies, they're trying to uh. use such a good effect. I wouldn't say that it's always been used to the best effect, and that might have just been a little bit of a fat finger there. We know that that happened with Corey mm -hmm. against G2 yesterday. Contentious. This C4, however, not contentious at all because, well, once Spark gives the call that someone's dropped, he can stand back. That pre-play C4 can go boom, and it will put this rogue player sky high because this is what Train Hard needs. 20 seconds left here, oh. Dez, not looking good. Spark at the exact wrong moment chooses to step forward, but he knew pressure was coming in. There is a C4 from below, but Blast shut down at the exact moment it comes out and connects. Oh. I think a 3-3 point, you feel like it's pretty balanced between the two. Oh, Dirtsu, he could toss a grenade in the drone hole right now and get a nice oh. sweet kill, but oh no! It's almost as if Ace has heard me and said, I'm going to take out the player before he can use his last <laughs> grenade. 45 seconds left here, Dez, and I'm going to tell you what, one for one, given Corey going down and the smoke babes being lost, this actually looks better for Train Hard. I'm not mm -hmm. sure they've opened up Con, though, but they are going to try and open it up now, and as they do, it looks like they want to do a player from that side. Look at the oh, position it's far. Cry and sat behind them inside a bedroom, just daring them to come jumping mm -hmm. in. If they haven't drawn this out, this could be absolutely catastrophic. And Aces is doing Aces things. The number of times that I've seen him do the mute swing from red onto the CC breach this season is ludicrous. It's almost like his trademark move. Crying goes for a challenge and sadly blaz a little bit too quick on the trigger fingers there. He's currently sat at, what, 11 kills this game? It's unbelievable the damage that he's putting in and seeing Durza sat on nine. Incredible performance in just seven rounds. Rips in a one versus two. Cactus is going to say nay. Shall not be able to do a clutch out here. In fact, this one is going to be our round win. And they pull ahead for the first time in this fixture. Be able to show us. It'll depend on whether Leon, who's looking directly at someone's head through the wall, uh, will be able to spot it. But that's why they haven't been able to grenade it. That will save them that entire hatch. Unfortunate as well because the grenades were well placed. It's definitely not really a slip up on train hard. Maybe a lack of information, but here comes Blaz doing Blaz things. Two kills for himself. Immediate trade out. Crime is going nuclear inside of Gen, but no. Blaz to connect with the third. Steps up to 14 kills in the map. Why does it have to be saved for the last play day, my man? Either way, big numbers for them. Characters to get the next. And surely Corey doesn't clutch this one out. They can plant if they need to inside of the other site. That's exactly what Noera is going to go for. And now you're looking towards the angle being held. It is there. And the kill trade come through unfortunately it doesn't matter because there was one left alive the plant was going down anyway that's gonna be another round going the way of train hard jess and they're starting to pull ahead now at five and three let's make it happen it looks like it's gonna be the monty to step forward he's in probably gonna want to turn his back and go for a plant here but instead pushing forward to feed a bit of information oh. where are they what can we do is this gonna be a mad burst in from train hard here that's what i'm expecting to see and surely the aggressive push comes in here we go one in looking up towards red they win the trade up there so it's four versus three swinging into era with a massive flank on the side but can't connect the third only finds the two rips with the double it's into a three versus two 
two. But the crucial thing, Jess, there is no C4 left for Corey. They're going for a plan. Where is he planting? It's to your left, Leon. You can step in and put him down in the dirt here. It no. was nice and simple from there. A good close out. The train hard, a good attempt, but with Couch just going down early, I think that round was done continued and i do have it up here and actually yeah it is still the most banned operator by far in fact it has a 55 or more ban rate and you know what else needs to be banned these grenades from both of these teams that they've been absolutely demolishing each other with rogue they gave them a taste of the grenade medicine and now train is giving them a taste of their own medicine straight back Okay, well, it's a bite back into two. And again, for Rogue, now you're starting to sweat a little bit because if this goes through to overtime, I can't remember the direct head-to-head -head result between Kavana and Rogue. In fact, Kavana won. Rogue needs to win in regulation time, but their chance is slipping through their fingers here. Train hard, take this round. It's done. They can't take third place. Rogue will definitely finish in fourth place. You've got to see a wonderful play coming out of crime right now. This is the time to step up. Finds one. 45 seconds still to play. That is a lot to use here. Goes for another one. Almost collected it. But no, it's Train hard taking taking round 10, locking Rogue into fourth place and basically guaranteeing them that they stay in a... Alas, he is not, and Blas will confirm that. And now they are being pinched from every side. Rogue is ever so worried. There's been not a single pick so far. And Blas will kick it on off, but it will be a trade for trade here between Trainhard and Rogue. And I tell you what, Dez, this looks like a trade hard game. It absolutely is. They're stepping in. They're picking up the kills. They've done everything they need to. Rogue have fallen apart at the last hurdle. Will not be able to threaten for Gavana for third place. They lock it in. But for Train Hard, you can see the looks on their faces. They know how big this win is to say. We can do this, boys. We can bring down a top 14. Blaz can drop nearly 20 kills on a map unbelievable turnaround for the boys. I'm so excited to see what the offseason does for them and what stage two looks like.